Hello and welcome to your Tuesday Truth Bombs. I know it's been a little while since I last posted a video. I took a little time off to myself. And yet today I feel compelled to share with you the truth bomb I pulled, which I shared earlier in my Create a Life You Love Now group on Facebook. So if you're on Facebook and you like this content, I plan to do more lives within my groups there and maybe cut back on the YouTube a little bit because it's just a lot of extra work, which I love to provide these videos for you and I'm streamlining. I like efficiency in my life. So anyway, I'll be here, here and there, and I'm here now. So are you. <laughs> So thank you. And if I didn't mention it before, I'm Tamara Zoner and it's Tuesday, so it's time for Truth Bombs. Today's is going without and holding out is better than selling out. Give you a minute to read that if you can. Going without and holding out is better than selling out. Now, with every truth bomb, I always remind you that what I share is strictly from my own life experience perspective. I can't tell you what this truth bomb means for you because I don't know your life and I don't know the paths that you've walked thus far. I only know my own. And so that's from where I share. And I invite you to just take a minute and maybe even pause the video and feel about what this truth bomb means for you. Listen to these words. Maybe close your eyes. I'm going to read it one more time. Maybe close your eyes and feel into this truth bomb. Going without and holding out is better than selling out. What do you feel? I would love for you to hit like on this video and then comment what this truth bomb means for you. And if you need to take a few minutes, do it. This is a video, pause it. I love this truth bomb. And the more I talk about it, because I just finished a Facebook Live a few minutes ago, the more I love it and the more true it feels. When I think of going without or selling out, um, or sorry, uh, holding out and going without being better than selling out, I'm thinking of mostly what is coming up for me is in work and in relationships. And so many of us stay in jobs or relationships long after they no longer serve us, long after we've moved on in our minds and in our hearts, but physically we keep showing up a shell of ourselves because we know on a deep core level that we're selling out, that we don't belong there anymore, that we've outgrown it. But people will say things like, oh, but I have to get paid, or I have to, uh, you know, pay the bills, or there's nothing else for me, or I'm not skilled enough to go to that next level, or I always get passed over or other people get the jobs. And then in relationships, it's even worse. Well, I don't want to be lonely. But aren't you all ready? If you're in a relationship that no longer serves you and you are already selling out just to be with another body, aren't you already lonely? I can tell you from experience that at least for me, it is so much better to be alone and maybe sometimes experiencing loneliness, to hold out and to go without than to sell out. Because when we sell out, we're out of integrity. We're out of alignment with our core values, what matters most to us with our passions and with our purpose. And if you're brave enough and courageous enough to step back into alignment, even if it means goodbye. Your superstar rock star that is going to manifest the life of your dreams, my friends, because when we're courageous, 
the universe rewards us and supports us. When we stay true to ourselves and our dreams and our desires, the universe says, hell yeah, I'll meet you there. That's my opinion about this truth bomb and I'd love to read yours. So please do share in the comments below what you think about this truth bomb, what it brings up for you. Maybe share a story of a time you sold out and how different it felt when you stopped. Man, it feels good to stop selling out. I'd hold out and go without any day. It's like, you know, fake ice cream. Think about it this way. You're on a healthy diet, a low sugar diet or a low fat diet. So, but you really want that ice cream. So you have the like fake stuff. You have the no sugar keto stuff. It's okay, but it's not ice cream. <laughs> All right, I'll leave that there. I hope to hear from you. I hope to read your comments and I'm grateful for you being here. I'll see you again soon. Maybe tomorrow, maybe next week. I'm Tamara Zoner, loving you, supporting you on this journey and hoping to see you wherever you like to connect. Facebook, Instagram, or right here on YouTube. Much love. Bye.